Hey guys, it's me, Delta One, Airsoft Talk. I'm doing another first impressions videos. So, I hope you aren't too bored of them. I'm going to be making a lot of them because I can. So, we have SHS pistons here. I've heard really good things from the Airsoft Reviewer 1 about these pistons and from other people and from a good tech buddy of mine. So, let's start with the Polycarb one right here. Packaging is just standard. Nothing super fantastic. Has description on the back. You know, just says, you know, this fits here, here, and here. And uh, basically what, just basic stuff that you probably already knew. So, now that's interesting. Um, it has kind of like, I guess they shaved out some of it, as you can see there. I don't know if it's picking it up very well. But uh, it looks like they did that to lighten up the piston a bit, which I don't think would make that big of a difference. I mean, I could be wrong. But uh, first impressions, this feels like an extremely solid piston. I mean, very nice. Very nicely done. Doesn't have kind of, there's no play in all when I squeeze it. The steel teeth look phenomenal. And I mean, they look really good. Um, overall, I, I would actually put this over a GMP piston just by first impressions. I've had GMP pistons come scratch to hell and back. And, I mean, there's very little parts where they had taken these out of the molds that have uh, little lines and stuff. There's not much of that on this, which I'm quite impressed. And it's incredibly, it's pretty light. I mean, it's not the lightest piston ever, but, I mean, I would, I would recommend this, hands down, just by first impressions. Um, so, let's, let's check out the other piston that we got. Put this back in its case. Put it off to the side. Here's a half steel teeth piston for a infinite torque setup. Let's see what we got here. First impressions. The steel on this looks pretty good. There's some weird crap on here. That's kind of weird. Now, the piston on this is... I guess it's pressed in somehow? I mean, it doesn't... The, pist, the metal teeth don't want to come forward. And I'm putting a substantial amount of force on them, and they seem really well done. Um... I mean, I am impressed. This is impressive. There's not much wobble or push when I push into it. It doesn't really give way much at all. Um, but my main concern with pistons like these is the outer housing on the back right there is when these kind of break, from my experiences, they just launch right out the back. And I, it's such a pain because these pistons normally like this are expensive. But this was re about 15 bucks. And that's uh, from in here in the States, bought from Raptor Airsoft. I'm very impressed with this piston. I uh, cannot wait to, to try it out. Um, I would say this could handle a M170 spring when installed properly. I do not like, however, that it has all 15 teeth. I wish it had the last one removed um, just to be easier on me. But I, I'm just going to dremel it off anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. So here's the full metal teeth rack piston. These are good in all sorts of high speed and medium torque setups. It does feel a bit hefty. There's some some random crap on it. But I mean, that's not a big deal. I mean, it's purple, so it shows that you're pretty manly for trying this piston. Um, first impressions, uh, half the of the last tooth is shaved down to prevent pre-engagement. Um, I'll just completely dremel that off and shave half of the... Uh, second tooth right here um, completely off the the teeth don't move at all that's a good thing it's not particularly super lightweight like the azimuths one but the azimuths in my opinion um, I didn't like them um, but I mean again guys that's my opinion if you've had better experiences than I have then shoot you're good anyways it's a pretty decent piston I'm looking forward to trying it out in my RPK see how it runs they did give you a little room to work with to do angle of engagement to shave down on the back tooth. Um, so that's a big bonus for me. I like that stuff. So, again, thanks to Raptor Airsoft for for letting me purchase these items. Not letting me, I just purchased them. Um, so, guys, uh, follow these pistons in the, re the, the videos I'll be doing. I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait to try them. Um, so guys, stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite the video, 
do all that good stuff. And guys, thanks for watching.